another video. I wanted to start this video off with an announcement. I'm excited to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So if you haven't heard already, Skillshare is an online learning community with a library of thousands of classes from you to choose from. You could take as many classes as you want with a premium membership at an affordable rate of $10 per month. If you want to try out and see what creative classes inspires you the most, I have a link down in my description below. It's for the first 1,000 people to get two months free of Skillshare Premium to try out. Class topics range from illustration, animation, freelance, and entrepreneurship, and a lot more of inspiring classes and topics to take you to the next step in your creative journey. Personally, for me, I've been learning a lot about how to navigate client-based work with this class called Watch Me Work Real Client Design Projects by Dylan Merzwinski. She goes over her own creative process of what goes into her designs, but also the behind the scenes of working professionally with clients, handling emails and contracts, and also delivering the final design. What I like about the classes is that it's very adaptable and fits to your needs and your skill levels. Most of the classes are usually less than 60 minutes long, so it's perfect to fit into your schedule whenever and wherever you want. So I hope you can discover your own journey journey of the creative process and self-care with Skillshare. And with that said, let's get into the video. <laughs> Hello, hello. It is yet again another week in our busy lives, 
and I'm honestly really excited for this week mostly because I want to focus a lot on my personal work and my portfolio and kind of showcase another aspect of my art. So since it's Sunday, I've been taking it really chill because this is my break day but I uploaded a video this morning and then now I'm just planning out my week starting with um, another journal spread and then actually I'm looking into this online journaling application because a lot of people that I know and friends have been using this it's Notion. I've only really done like merch and small cute illustrations recently and it just doesn't have enough like substance for me right now so I want to go back into more story-based projects and more landscapes overall. One part of like why I'm hesitant about posting more of that is like once I got more of like a consistent feed I got worried what if people don't like this? What if people don't engage with this as much? But in the end, I realized that the art that I make should definitely be more about like what makes me happy and also what lets me grow and thrive as an artist. So yeah, that's just been what's on my mind recently. I guess the gist of what I want done this week is to like kind of go over like how my life has been so far with all the things that I've been juggling and what I want to do in the future and hopefully things that I can sustain as I go on as an artist. I really don't have anything figured out and I'm really glad that I have a lot of friends within my own circle and support group where we can kind of talk and figure things out together because mostly it's been really confusing being in the animation industry because a lot of people within there are on short contracts that go from studio to studio or from show to show and it's been kind of hard and confusing being in between shows and not knowing like when is the next gig coming and what am I doing with my life and will I ever get a job again? <laughs> I guess that's the life of a 23 year old. I'm actually 22, I keep forgetting. My birthday's in like a month though. I also have some pretty cool commissions and freelance stuff that's been going on so I wanted to show you guys that as well. But as of now, it's still Sunday and I'm chilling. And I think the best things about Sundays to look forward to is just planning and journaling. Give us presents, Santa. 
want more present. <laughs> are so rich now. So I got a very happy package in the mail today and it's my lanyards. They all look so good. The colors turned out really well this time. So a little update about the lanyards. Last time you saw that I got a whole package of these and they were not the colors that I wanted mostly because um, there was an error on the manufacturer's part where I think the colors weren't fully developed long enough, so it turned out a lot lighter. But now they sent me a reorder and also my second batch of orders so that I have enough lanyards. And I'm just really happy with how they came out. The manufacturer really pulled through. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy! Look at all that color! Oh my gosh! So yeah, I'm gonna be restocking my store again soon, so these guys will be put up as well. And I'm just overall really excited and this really made my day. <laughs> but first I need to go and count all of these guys to make sure that I got everything and also to make sure that the quality of each of them are good. And just from the overall look of things, they are definitely good. And I think they're all gonna be A grades. So last time while I was packing, I got these stamps from Daiso and a lot of you recommended an acrylic block, but I found this little block, which is not the specific acrylic block I'm supposed to use, but this will do. This stamp's a little too big for my liking, but he's such a cute bear.
I have had a very slow start to the day now and it's already 3 p.m. I'm mostly just replying to emails and comments and making stories and whatnot but I wanted to get into some of my freelance stuff finally. So the majority of what I do now is just small commissions for people for personal use and also like smaller brands. I'm also working on a children's book so that's been really fun. It's been an interesting creative process. I have a collaboration with an Animal Crossing themed pop-up store so I have to get some stickers printed and probably shipped today or tomorrow. And I'm also working on this really cute bear sticker. This commissioner is running an online plant shop and they're called the Sun Bear Den. So this was like the perfect commission for me because it's all about plants and bears. And I'm going to bring this one to finish now. <laughs> 